Hi guys and welcome to part 1 of my Unity tutorials on how to make a main menu. So I've loaded up my project here and I have two levels so far, the main menu and level 1. So yeah. So for today's uh, part 1 I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple start button. So I've downloaded one um, GUI off the internet, it's called the Necromancer GUI, I'll put a link to it in the description, you should definitely check it out, it's pretty good, especially for RPGs, so yeah, we're going to start off making a folder, call it scripts, and then we're going to make a JavaScript, and call it main menu GUI, as it's a GUI menu, so just double click it to open, Wait for it to load. Okay. Um, so just delete that. Okay, we're going to start off with two variables. Uh, the first variable is uh, going to be the skin, GUI skin that we're going to be using. And I'm just going to call it my skin. Okay. So it's a GUI skin. And you want to do the block brackets and semicolon. Uh, the next var we're going to quickly just do it's a private var cont dot dot integer which is a whole number equals zero. Oh wait, zero. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do a function. Just function on GUI. Okay. Okay, let's start then. Function on GUI. So we're going to start off by declaring a GUI skin. Um, so we're going to go GUI. Oh, GUI dot skin equals my skin. I'm going to do a block bracket. And we're going to do cont. And then we're going to do the percentage sign. My skin dot dot length another block bracket and semicolon so that basically kind of tells the GUI skin how long you want it to be so yeah um, now we're going to do an if statement so we're going to go if then GUI Actually, wait. Okay, if GUI dot button. Okay, that creates a GUI button, and a GUI button is going to be a rectangle. So we're going to do rect. Okay. And now we're going to show how big or tall we want it, and where we want it on the screen. Now the numbers I'm going to put down is best fit for me. It's just the left of the middle of the screen. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be 200 by 70 by 200 by 50 yeah that basically sticks it a bit more to the left of the middle and it's pretty decent location and good size for a start button so yeah so then we're going to stick a comma after the bracket and then we're going to put what it says inside uh, the button which is going to say start game uh, so that's what uh, will show up on the button uh, when we start the game. So finish it off with two brackets. And then another open and closing one. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put what's going to happen. So we're going to make it load a level. So we'll start off by putting application dot load level and I would uh, normally stick um, the number of the level in here, like level zero or level one, but I'm going to do it differently. So it, uh, so if we do add in settings menu later and everything, we won't have to be those. It won't be even more complicated changing all the scripts over and over again. So for now, I'm just going to put level one. Okay, now I'm going to add the debug log in here. So I'm going to go debug dot log 
and inside here we're gonna uh, basically put um, what it's gonna say when we uh, click the button so we're gonna put game started okay so save that off okay basically what happens here then is when we click uh, the GUI button which says start game on it um, it's going to load level 1 and it's going to say um, in the uh, in the c console it's going to say game started so yeah, make sure that's saved and you want to go on to unity oh, you got the script make sure um, you put your main menu and level 1 inside the uh, build settings the reason why I put the name which is level 1 because if we do add a settings menu we, we may have to stick it like on in the level 1 slot so over here and then like level 1 will be actually level 2 so it's confusing but it's easier just to do it that way so you just want to add the main menu GUI to the main camera and you see you get my skin and you're going to put the size to 1 and when you get your necromancer GUI you just want to drag the necromancer GUI onto the GUI skin so um, now what will happen if we uh, play the game okay, you see you get a start button with a necromancer GUI uh, later on I'll edit it to make it a bit more better uh, but eventually this main menu will look pretty cool we'll have the buttons here and then we'll have uh, loads of other good stuff on the main menu so as you see um, when you click on it it loads level 1 that I have here and if you look in the uh, console down here you'll see it says game started so yeah that's just to uh, double check the game's definitely working and that the debug.log works so it's not really a long script script we only use one function and two variables um, so yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope it was pretty easy for you. Uh, don't forget to stay tuned for part 2. Um, also let me know what you want uh, me to add into the main menu and I'll see what I can do, add it in with the others. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in part 2.